Hello everyone. How are you? Hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. This is lecture number 6 and I am going to talk about some important factors that drives the path or drives the road to become the play itself is a tragedy. Some factors that influences over the characters itself in this play. For example, the power of unwritten law, the willingness to ignore the truth, the limits of free will, defining prophecy that locked up the character in the precedence fate as well. So let's get started today's lecture. Everyone in Thebes locked up to Oedipus because back in the day he answered the riddle of the snakes. He was a well-known man and everyone locked up to him to solve all the problems for thieves. One of the biggest problems was the unsolved murder of King Ulias. It was announced in front of the whole chorus in front of the palace that if the murderer was found, he would kill them, make sure their wife and kids suffer, and make sure that no crops or anything ever goes for them. So to some, it all be he was pretty much going to make them suffer until day. The table ended up turning on the clever but not so clever. Oedipus. Once Oedipus found out he killed his father Laius, he didn't want to be alive anymore. He stated to the chorus what he wanted to happen. Oedipus didn't want to see nor hurt the people he already hurt, which include Jocasta his and his children. He wanted to go far, far away or be killed. This is the power of unwritten law that exists or that influences, influenced over the character King Oedipus. The willingness to ignore the truth. If truth exists in the earth, it will be generated on. Jocasta relates to his theme because she does not believe the prophecies that the oracle told Oedipus. The oracle told Oedipus who told Jocasta that the oracle said he was going to kill his father and marry his own mother and later on have kids with her. Jocasta doesn't want to believe Oedipus and the prophecy is about mentioning Laius and her being his mother. Although Oedipus is beginning to question his whole life, this affects Jocasta in such a way that she sticks to it until we find out the truth. Here are some important truths that Jocasta found out. The stolen food represents everything that practically happened in the story. When he was younger, his feet got nailed together because they wanted him to die and the mother didn't want him anymore, told them to kill him. He got taken by a shepherd who gave him to the messenger of Corinth and then gave him to Polybus. If you would of never got his feet unnailed, then he would have never killed his father, married his mother, and then carried on to have kids with her because he would have just died at the site when being put to death. In this play, there were a lot of limitations of free will. The limits of free will affects Oedipus. The definition of free will is acting without being forced to or needing to. 
Oedipus states that he will curse whoever killed Laius. Once Oedipus finds out that he actually killed his own father, Laius, he could back out of the curse and refuse to curse his own self since he is the king. However, Oedipus doesn't back out of what he promised his people he would do. Fuel affects Oedipus in such a way that he doesn't need to continue on with the force, but he does anyways. Here we can assume the great saying, the truth lies in the eyes of beholder. Sight and blindness also affects Travisius, who is the blind prophet who holds the truth behind every secret and has the eyes of Apollo. Travisius comes in front of the palace and thieves and he towards Oedipus that he is one who killed Laius. Oedipus gets offended about his hints, then accuses Travisius of killing Laius because he knows so much. Here we can define the oracle. A prophecy is a statement about a future event. Prophecy and unavoidable fate go hand in hand, especially in Greek tragedies. No matter how hard characters try to escape these prophetic statements, fateful outcomes prove unavoidable. In Oedipus, Oedipus reacts, by Sophocles, the main character King Oedipus tries hard to hard to avoid his fate, but instead ends up playing a crucial role in making not just one, but several prophecies come true. In the process of trying to escape his future, Oedipus becomes the victim of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Let's take a quick look at the plot of the Oedipus Rex before de delving into the prophecies that play a key role in this Greek tragedy. How did it happen? I'm just looking for this answer from this text as well. The prophecy that perverts in the fate of the protagonist, Oedipus Rex. Oedipus. The title character seeks the advice of an oracle, a person who predicts the future, when his kingdom, the city of Thebes, is threatened by a plague. According to the oracle, the only way to avoid the plague is by bringing the murderer of King Oedipus's predecessor, Laius, to justice. Oedipus's wife, Jocasta, was married to Laius at the time he was killed. To save the, his city, King Oedipus decides to find Laius's mother. Oedipus is outraged when Tiresias, a blind shear, accuses him of killing King Laius. However, Jocasta tells him to ignore and not to worry about Tiresias' prophecy because based on her own experience, she doesn't believe it to be true. Key prophecies in Oedipus' rakes include the number one prophecy Laius will be killed by his own son. And number two indicates Oedipus will marry his own mother. And the last one prophecy Oedipus will go blind at the end of his life. This is the end of today's lecture thank you for listening this lecture thank you very much